Hi, my name is Rebecca Onkin, and I'm from Westside. <laughs> and uh, this poem is called A Guide to Surviving the Playground. In elementary school, I, was, I became an expert on slide sitting. For the uninitiated, slide sitting is the act of sticking yourself to the inside of a blue plastic tube despite the choking 90 degree heat that turns it into an oven or the 30 degree cold in the wind that makes even the most bundled children shiver. It takes commitment. It takes strong thighs and biceps. It takes loneliness. It takes isolation. For the uninitiated, slide sitting is best with a book and hard soled shoes. A word to the wise, when slide sitting, perfect your form, otherwise your feet will unstick from the walls of the slide and take you down the rest of the rabbit hole. When perfecting your technique, always take into account sweat production, a slippery person makes for a slippery slide. When perfecting your technique, always bring something to entertain, for the claustrophobic plastic that surrounds you will frighten even the most seasoned in the art. When perfecting your technique, always be aware of your surroundings. One of the worst possible things that can happen to a slide sitter is someone coming down after you and discovering your spider-like form clinging to the plastic. When perfecting your technique, always measure time. For many, a slide sitter has sunk into their lone bliss and forgotten the number of breaths they've taken. When perfecting your technique, always guard your hideaway closely, for the teases that will ensue because of the way you cling to the cracks in the slide skin will be unnerving to the intolerant. A word to the wise. Never undertake the art of slide sitting unless you are absolutely sure you have nowhere else to go. When sitting in a slide, never cry. Even as your heart will seem to seize with unnameable loss, clamp your eyes shut. Even as you quiver with the words of classmates echoing in your ears, stay your ground. Even as you gasp, trying to remember soft moments before you're forced down onto the ground, kicked in the gut with leaves and grass in your hair. Even as you mourn. Do not let your heart become weak enough to believe that the words outside will be kind and the games will be easy when you emerge from your hiding. Even as you collapse into yourself, do not forget the promises you made to your heart, whispering of safety from taunts and hate. When sitting in the slide, forget the world beyond the plastic. By definition, slide sitting takes a certain kind of determination. The kind of determination that has long legs, a short brown bob, and a gap tooth smile that's just a little too big. The kind of determination that's bred from being knocked down onto the ground and left alone on the swings too long. The kind of determination that comes from not wanting to have the kind of different you are be showcased for all the playground to see. The kind of determination that forms light muscles a little too early and makes the sense of gravity more tuned than it should be at nine years old. By definition, slide sitting takes a certain kind of desperation. In elementary school, I became an expert on being alone. <laughs>